This is NSCA's Business Question Series. My name is Brad Malone with Navigate Management Consulting, and we are an NSCA business partner. Today's question is, what are the advantages and disadvantages of incentivizing project managers with a percentage of the gross profit earned on projects? I'm going to say the disadvantage is that, and I, I run into this recently with, with a company I'm doing a lot of training with hundreds of PMs, is that they'll not log all their hours. They're like, well, if, if I go over my hours, if I use all my hours, then I'm going to reduce my profit percentage. Well, typically project management is anywhere from 8 to 25% of the labor hours on a project, depending. Again, 8 large, uh, 25 small. But labor is typically 35 to 40% of a project. So when you're thinking 8 of 35%, you're, you're not moving that much. But people start to mess with numbers because they think that by hiding numbers or by moving them to admin or worse yet, not tracking them at all, that I'm I'm hurting myself okay, by tracking well. The advantages of that, that is that I'm, I'm incentivizing behavior and I'm also incentivizing uh, project managers for doing truthful work, uh, communicating accurately, and when I start to incentivize projects, I tend to put it in a pool. So we've got to look at big, big projects might have less profit. Small projects might have more profit. So am I punishing a PM by putting them on a big project with less profit? So that's why I tend to put all the profit into uh, a combined pool for all of the project managers and disperse that out in a, on a quarterly basis, as opposed to project by project by project. We want to start basically understanding the truth of our numbers um, as opposed to setting up games where people are basically competing against the company. So you're incentivizing truth with a percentage of that. And again, it's a small percentage. So it's, it's a big conversation, uh, but it also needs to be uh, a truthful conversation and a purposeful conversation.